Hello my people, it's my hope that you are having a good weekend. Uh, let me start by apologizing for I've been away for some days. Uh, I've not posted any video for more than uh, all for a couple of days because of uh, some reasons which were unavoidable. And uh, thank you for those who have been reaching me. And uh, let me promise you that I'm back and uh, we will continue where we left. And uh, before I continue, let me start by thanking you guys for the almost 5,000 subscribers, road to 10,000 subscri subscribers. For those who have subscribed, thank you. And for those who have not, let's continue subscribing and continue making this channel a success. Back to our topic of the day. There is this one topic people have been asking me many questions about. This is uh, your arthritis. Many people have been telling me to discuss this, this topic. And I think this is the right time whereby we should tackle it. So let's start by defining your arthritis. First of all, your arthritis comes from the word urethra. What is urethra? Urethra is the tube that carries uh, urine from the blander to outside the body. So when we talk about urethritis, it means inflammation of the tube carrying urine out of the blander to outside the body. And uh, this may be bacterial or may be caused by bacterial or viral infection whereby there is a swelling and irritation of the urethra or the tube carrying urine outside the body and, and it's commonly caused by STIs. Let's talk about the symptoms or how will you tell that a person is having urethritis or inflammation of the tube carrying urine outside the body. One, there is what we call a burning sensation. When this person is urinate, urinating, he or she will feel a burning sensation or something which is a bit hot. This is because these, uh, these bacteria cause some ulcerations or small woods along the urethra. And when the urine, which has some um, like a uh, salt, passes through over the, 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 the ulcers or the small woods, that is when somebody feels like something is burning in the urethra. Number two, we have what we call frequent urination or in, in, in increased, increased rate of urination. We have uh, itching, which may be inside or outside the urethra. We have what we call fever. Because this is an infection, it's a bacterial infection, as we have said, it may be bacterial or vira, viral. Wherever there is an infection, there must be fever or feeling chills. Next, we have what we call discharge, which might be smelly. It may, might be bloody or pus. Note, and this is very important, urethritis is not the same as UTI. Remember in our previous videos, we discussed about urinary tract infections or sexually transmitted in infections. So, Urethritis is not a sexually transmitted infection or it's not a urinary tract infection. I want you, to, you guys to differentiate between the two. Urethritis, as we have said, is an inflammation of the urethra whereby, as we discussed before, UTI or urinary tract infection is an infection of the urethra. I hope you get, you got, you get that. And uh, there is some, 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 some other point you have to note. Ladies are more prone to urethritis than men. And what is the reason behind that? The reason is because women's urethra is shorter than men's urethra. So this makes it easy for a bacteria or virus 
to enter the urethra or to enter up to the bladder and the kidneys easily because the distance between the outside and the inside of the female reproductive system is so short compared to men. Next, let's discuss about uh, the causes. As I have said before, when I was starting this, this video, urethritis, which is the inflammation of the tube carrying urine outside the, the, the body, or from the blunder to outside the body, this can be caused by an infection, which is mostly a bacteria or a bacteria or a virus. For example, some of the, 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 the common bacteria which can cause urethritis are, and I know most of you might have had such names, though they are so, so hard to get or to understand, but uh, we have what we call Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Number two, we have uh, Chlamydia trachomonas. And also, the third one, we have Mycoplasma. Mycoplasma genitalium. Mycoplasma genitalium. So, Chlamydia trachomonas, uh, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, and Mycoplasma genitalium are the most common bacteria that cause uh, urethritis. Note, and this is very important also, patho pathogens or the meaning of the word pathogen. Pathogens which are agents that cause illness. So when we talk about pathogens, we simply mean agents that cause illness. So in this uh, situation, pathogens which are agents that cause illness uh, causes STIs. So pathogens that cause STIs in this condition can also lead to urethritis. How? These bacteria uh, make some wounds or some ulcerations along the urethra and obvious where there is, there is an infection or there is a wound or an ulceration there must be an inflammation. So pathogens that cause UTI, what I mean is pathogens or agents that can cause STI can sometimes lead to urethritis and I hope you get that. Let's give examples of viruses that can be involved in causing urethritis. One, we have, we have what we call HPV which is very very common. This is what we call human papilloma virus. We have upper simplex and we have cytomegalovirus. Those are the most common viruses. HPV, which is, which is full, in full means human papilloma virus, Abes simplex, and the third one, cytomegalovirus. Uh, this marks the end of our video, and uh, in the next video we are going to discuss about uh, diagnosis and the treatment modalities which can be applied in management of urethritis. Thank you guys, and let's continue subscribing liking, sharing, and make this channel a success. Have a nice evening.